Now let's talk about how we can debug API management policies. As we have already seen from the previous lectures, that while you are using policies in your API management, the chance that your policy file is going to get bigger and bigger are really high. And it's going to be difficult for you to debug and diagnose what might be wrong in your policy file. So in this lecture, we are going to see how we can use Visual Studio Code along with API management extension to help you to debug your policies of the API management. And I'm going to put a link for this page in the resources of this lecture. So let's go ahead and install Visual Studio Code if you don't have it, and also install Azure API Management Extension. It's really easy and straightforward inst installation process. Here I am in Visual Studio Code and I have installed API Management Extension. And the first step you want to do is to go ahead and sign in to your Azure account. And you can do so by going here and click on Sign into Azure, or you can click on Control Shift P and search for sign in command and go for it. Now I have signed into my Azure account and here are the different subscriptions that I have and different API managements in my account. And let's have a look at the APIs here. And as you can see here, we have LinkedIn profile API twice. And the reason for this is because we have created a second revision of LinkedIn profile API in the previous lectures, if you remember. As you can see here, this is the revision one of the LinkedIn profile API. And this is the revision two. Now let's go ahead and open the revision two operations. And let's go ahead and test the get jobs operation. And let's go for start policy debugging. Then we need to go ahead and click on send request. And then we are getting to our policy here and we can debug it step by step to see how are the different policies are being executed and how they are changing the behavior of our APIs. And these are the normal debug buttons that you're already familiar with. You can go step by step or you can step out from the execution of this policy altogether. And here in the debug console, you are able to see different information that's going to help you to debug your policy and your API. And at the end of this debugging process, you are going to get the normal responses that you are expected to get from the get jobs operation. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.